Today, I'm gonna show you a secret website that I've been using for years to find hidden niche markets like this one here that makes over $80,000 a month, this one here doing 136,000, and this one right here banking over $8 million a year. Yep, that's right. This secret website, actually, it's not that big of a secret, but hardly anyone uses it the way that I'm gonna show you today. And when you use it the right way, you'll be able to find countless niches that'll put tons of money in your pocket. And it's actually very simple. In fact, this website, when used correctly, can even give you a head start when it comes to making money with these niches. In fact, one example I'm gonna show you today is insanely simple. And I'm gonna show you some other free tools to see exactly what these people are doing to make the money. So basically all you need to do is use the free tool to find a niche, create your own angle within the niche, and build a business. This is the same process used by giant startups making millions of dollars. And you're about to learn everything for free. And the tools I'm gonna to show you, yeah, those are free too. But first, a story. Back when I was first getting into niche marketing, I was confused. I didn't know which niche would make money, which one was too competitive, which one would actually work and be in line with my ethics. Yeah, I was lost and totally confused. Then one day I came across this niche about cable TV and I jumped on it. The first weekend I set up my website, I made like $1,200 in profit while I was on vacation. That's right, I set it up and it made money for over a year without even doing anything. It was more or less set and forget. Or the niche market I accidentally stumbled on in 2006. I was just minding my own business and I found this niche that looked interesting using the exact method I'm gonna show you today. And diving into this niche actually turned out to be a multi seven figure business over the course of a couple of years. That's right, over a million dollars from one niche market idea. And it was actually pretty simple. All I had to do was look at the niche, figure out how to serve the market best, and then point to the things that made me money. But none of that would have happened if I wasn't able to find the right niche market. Which is why today, I'm pulling back the curtain, and I'm gonna show you my eight-figure process for finding niches online that make tons of money. So if you're excited, smash that like button, let's dive into the computer, and I'll show you the free website, the free tools, and how to find tons of niches that'll put money in your pocket. Okay, so in this example, we're actually gonna work backwards. I'm gonna show you this niche that has millions of dollars in it, then I'm gonna show you how I found it, and I'm gonna show you how to find tons of other niches as well. And you tell me what you think of this one, because I think it's quite a zinger that can make a lot of money for the right person who wants to use it. And it's actually very simple. We can see here there's one company doing almost $700,000 a year in this niche, another one doing $19 million a year in several different niches within this same kind of idea, another one here with over $50,000 a month, and lastly, this one with about $6 million a year in revenue. In fact, if we were to go to Amazon and look this up, the niche is about romantic couple gift ideas and adventure boxes and subscription services for keeping the romance alive. It's actually a super popular niche. We can see that one product alone, a little date night product that's $17, is making an average monthly revenue of like 170 grand. Here's another one, 77,000, 30,000, 18,000, and on and on we go. These are all subscription boxes and products for people that are looking to spice up their dating life with their significant other. You can even get into more risky type areas of the niche, talking about different ways to spice up other areas of dating, but I'm probably just gonna stick to the standard what to do on a date night with your wife. We can also see that there's lots of different sites in the dating niche that are getting tons of traffic. Anything from where to go on a date in Orlando to the dating divas talking about different ways to date and heat up your marriage. 
and all kinds of different things from singles who want to go on dates to dating apps and on and on we go. We can see this niche is super big. Now, we need to back up a little bit and ask ourselves, what is a niche? Well, a niche is something small within a big category. Dating is a category. Dating boxes to spice up marriage, that is a niche. And that is where we're gonna make money, and that is what we need to concentrate on being able to find. Because if we can find those niches, figure out what they want, and give it to them, then we can make tons of money. We know that niches work on the basis of something small. Instead of going for dating or workout, we would go for some segment of dating, or a type of workout, or a certain age group for workouts. Got it? Excellent. Let's continue. Next, we need to tell if there's profit. The ways we can tell if there's profit is by looking at the free tools to figure out where the money is. You can use tools like Zipia, ZoomInfo, Grips Intelligence, Rocket Reach, Grojo, and Statistia. These will all give you ideas of what is going on in a niche and how much money they're estimated to be making. Now, be careful because some of this is curated and not exactly 100% on the money numbers, but it will give us an idea. And using tools that are paid like Jungle Scout, even though it is a paid tool, it is inexpensive. But with this, I can see exactly what the products are making. Then I can use a tool like the Hoth free keyword tool and type something in like date ideas. And I could see how big the niche is. I could do date ideas, date night games, date night plans, all kinds of different things around date nights. Because we know most people looking up date ideas already have someone in mind that they're planning on going with. And here we can see hundreds of thousands of people every month are looking up date night ideas. And we could see here also tons of people looking for different date night ideas, including different restaurants and different things like that that work really well. So this market has lots of traffic and it's got lots of money. We can also use free tools like seranking.com to take some websites in our niche, put them in here and see what kind of traffic they're getting. This is actually super simple. We would just go to Google and search for something like date night ideas and take some of the websites that are just focused around date night ideas, like maybe this Orlando one, Happily Ever Adventures, or even something like this marriage website. We can take this link here, put it into our SERP checker, right like this, and see exactly what they're ranking for with all kinds of different statistics on the traffic and competition and everything like that. It's actually pretty simple. Then we just ask ourselves how we plan on making money. We can build a subscription business like the big ones that are making millions of dollars. We can do affiliate marketing. We can send people to the Amazon stuff. We can send people to all kinds of affiliate programs about spicing up your marriage. The sky is literally the limit. And it just depends on the amount of work you want to do, what you have to invest, and how big you want to take this thing. Because let's face it, if I was to make an actual subscription box business, yeah. This thing could be huge. And before we get into domain names and value, I wanna show you how I came across this niche and how you can use this free website and AI tools to find tons of niches at the drop of a hat. And the free tool is none other than, drum roll please, the GoDaddy auction tool. That's right. We can use the GoDaddy auction tool to find tons of niche markets that already have built-in money and a domain that's worth money. So it's kind of like a double whammy. We find the niche, we find a domain that's worth money, we pair them together, build a business, and get paid. 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 Yes, money. We could go through here and take a look at all the different things that are on sale on any given day. Now, don't worry if you don't have like eight grand to buy this. We're not actually trying to buy these unless, of course, it makes sense, which sometimes it does. I'll talk about that in a minute. But if we were to take a look at something here like careercast.com, we can put that into our keyword tool like this and see exactly what this niche is all about and what they're doing. We can see here it's about how to find your perfect job, careers, and different things like that, which at a glance, we probably would have known that just by the domain. But what we're gonna do is take this a step further. I'm gonna go to the big list of GoDaddy domain auctions, right like this, and I'm gonna open up the Microsoft Bing Copilot. I'm gonna say, 
please look at these domains and tell me which ones are tied to profitable niche markets and why. This is gonna go through and find all the niche markets based on these domains that some of them are already running and have businesses and traffic and all kinds of things that will help us build this thing even faster. And we'll just click answer from this page instead. And it's actually gonna use this page instead of the web. And we could see here, it's got health domains, tech domains, e-commerce potential, and on and on we go. You can even sort these by price and see which ones are cheap or even worth lots of money. I can say, now try this list. And it's best to go through and choose 100 at a time so that it has a lot to pull from. And it's gonna go through, look at the list, and find the different niches that are available. Now, we can also see that some of these don't have any bids, which means they may or may not be worth that much money. And we can see here, it's gonna go to work and find all the different niches that are included in this list. Now, one of the things you can do if you wanna guarantee that something has buyers in it, we can actually go through and click on bids offers and sort these by the amount of bids they have, like this one here, which is actually going for like $4,000. Here's one about funding, the career one, and on and on we go. We can say, now answer from this web page, from this web page, and bada bing, bada boom, we're ready to go. We can see we have niches in hiking, survival, recipes, mountain biking, and on and on we go. Here's one about tornado chasers, or smart dog stuff, health teacher. There's literally anything and everything. And using this example, we can take these domains and figure out what's going on and what kind of traffic they have using our keyword tools right like this. And some of these may or may not have traffic and rankings, but we can see here, smart dog stuff. Maybe I can do a website about reviewing dog products. And we can take this even deeper and then say, maybe we wanna sort these by dog. Find out what kind of dog domains are out there and go from there. Dog groomer, dog training. And you'll see that some of these, like dogquestions.org, actually do have keyword rankings and traffic. And I could see here, it's all different kinds of things about what is good and bad for dogs, dog training, and all kinds of crazy stuff, getting tons and tons of traffic. You can also use the Hoth keyword tool, right like this, and check the rankings on the domain right here. And you could see it's got all kinds of different keywords around what dogs can and can't eat. And this would be an example of a content business where we can make content around this stuff and point to things that make us money. But always remember to make good content. We don't wanna go out there and just curate some AI stuff just for the sake of getting rankings. We actually wanna dive in and serve the market in a super strategic, helpful way. And then maybe you could lead them to like dog snacks or dog toys or something like that on Amazon and see exactly what those are making. And you can see some of them are making a lot of money. And if you don't wanna go out there and create a product, you can simply be an affiliate and get paid when they buy other people's products. It's actually super simple. And now let's get into the domain names and value. First, we wanna look at what's selling, what's available, and what's valuable. We're gonna go through and take a look at these domains with a fine tooth comb. As you can see here, one of the domains I found today was unboxlove.com. This is the one that gave me the idea for the box service about romance and date night and things like that. We can see here that the domain actually sold for $3,550. There are recent domains like Unbox Style, Unbox Everything, Unbox Me that sold for similar amounts. So I would say the $3,500 is pretty fair on a domain like this. We can also see several others down here. Next, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to my domain tools, right like right over here, including the GoDaddy domain appraisal tool. We'll get the value right like this. Then we can use something like Estabot to find another value, which is gonna be more accurate based on the domain name alone. But first, we gotta find these taxis here and prove that we're not a robot. We could see here it says less than $100, which I don't think is very accurate. Let's take a look at Dynadot. 
Dynadot's appraisals are usually way out in left field, but sometimes it'll give us an idea of what these domains will go for. And actually, that's not far off the 3500 it just sold for. And remember, the 3500 it sold for was on GoDaddy auctions, which means it wasn't really going out to the public. Oftentimes, when the public wants the domain, it's worth a heck of a lot more money. And I could simply take a domain like this, Unbox Love. If the price makes sense, I'll go ahead and buy it at auction and get a jump start, because this one did have some rankings and there was a business built on it. Or, if I want to save some money, I could do something like Unbox Romance, right like this. And we could see Unbox Romance is available for one penny. Yeah, I'll take that one. Or I could do Unbox Date Night, Unbox Love Life. Hey, that one's pretty good. UnboxLoveLife.com. That one's available too, and we could see it's also a penny. Or we can go to ChatGPT and ask it for some domain ideas. Please come up with some domain ideas similar to UnboxLove.com. List 25. And this will go through and list 25 domains that we can use that might be really good and worth lots of money. Love Mystery Box, Date Night Delights, Cupid's Crate. These are actually pretty good. Now we could just take this list right here, go to the GoDaddy bulk tool, right like this, put the entire list in here and see what's available. And we can see pretty much all of them are available, except for halt, except for heartfelthampers.com, which, yeah, I don't know about that one. That's kind of weird. But we can see lots and lots of domains that we can use to build a full-on business around the niche we just found using the GoDaddy auctions. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, GoDaddy auctions will reveal niches like crazy. And you don't even have to buy the domains at auction. You can just use them to find niches that are guaranteed to put money in your pocket. But again, remember, this is a business. There is risk, there is reward, and the average person trying to make money online makes nothing. In fact, buying domains, you can actually lose money. And if you wanna learn more about this strategy, check out the links in the description. And as always, if you want notes from this video, check out downloadmynotes.com.